chapter 3045 begins with Gary reluctantly agreeing to continue taking contraceptive pills after each encounter with Mr. Lab, despite the potential side effects and health risks associated with frequent medication. Mr. Lab, ever pragmatic and dismissive of her well-being, suggests that she undergo sterilization surgery to avoid the need for constant medication. However, she immediately rejects this idea, recognizing the irreversible consequences it would have on her ability to become a mother in the future. This rejection highlights her desperation to retain some control over her body and her future. Even as she navigates the oppressive circumstances she finds herself in. Mr. Lab, indifferent to her concerns, dismisses her refusal and reminds her that the decision ultimately doesn't affect him. He has no emotional investment in her or her potential offspring. He reveals that he has already secured his legacy through his children with his first wife and a few carefully selected mistresses who were allowed to bear his children because they were obedient and lacked ambition. Carrie, in contrast, is seen merely as a temporary indulgence, with Mr. Lab having no intention of allowing her to bear his child. His lack of empathy and calculating nature are starkly evident as he coldly informs Carrie that if she is indeed pregnant, the pregnancy will be terminated. The narrative then shifts to Carrie's internal struggle as she contemplates the possibility of being pregnant. She touches her belly, conflicted by the thought that she might be carrying a child, even though she knows that Mr. Lab will never allow the pregnancy to come to term. The idea of abortion looms large in her mind, filling her with dread. She reflects on the experiences of a college classmate who had an abortion Recalling the physical pain and emotional toll it took, this memory intensifies her anxiety as she realizes that she might soon have to undergo the same traumatic experience. As she wrestles with these thoughts, she also indulges in a moment of cruel satisfaction at the idea that Cameron might be unable to have children due to the medications she's been taking. She muses that if Cameron were indeed infertile, it could lead to the dissolution of her relationship with Callum, which brings her a twisted sense of pride. However, this fleeting feeling of superiority quickly dissipates as she confronts the harsh reality of her own situation. Despite her ability to conceive, she realizes that it is meaningless in her current circumstances where any pregnancy would be forcibly terminated. The chapter closes with Gary's growing sense of despair as she resigns herself to the fact that she must be more diligent in her contraceptive measures to avoid the same situation in the future. She acknowledges that becoming pregnant by Mr. Lab is something she desperately wants to avoid as it would only lead to more pain and suffering. The thought of having to endure an abortion fills her with dread, and she laments her current situation, feeling trapped and powerless.